Hi, and thanks for making the switch to digital film with the C-Digit Blot Scanner. Before you get started scanning, I want to give you a few quick tips to help make your first chemiluminescent scans successful. Conveniently, the maximum scan size of the C-Digit is about the size of a mini gel, 8.5 by 10 centimeters. And before you turn on your C-Digit, be sure to install Image Studio software on your computer. A link to the Image Studio tutorial can be found on the same web page where you clicked to view this video. And here are the minimum computer requirements for Image Studio. Let me offer some quick tips for successful scanning on the C-Digit so that you get high quality, high sensitivity images right from the start. If you're already doing film, then many of these tips will already be familiar to you. Because enzyme activity varies with temperature, it's important to always run your assay at the same temperature. This is why for the best, most consistent results, your substrate should be at room temperature before applying it to your blot. Prepare your substrate using the manufacturer's recommended protocols and reagents, just as you do for film development. For the best results, don't be stingy with your substrate. And for heaven's sake, don't dilute it. Just like during film exposure, make sure that the membrane remains wet while scanning on the C-digit. You can either wrap it in plastic or place the substrate right on the scanning surface. And remember, the blot goes protein side down on the C-digit. And if you normally expose your blot to film for longer than 10 minutes, then I recommend Western Sure Premium Substrate or Super Signal West Femto for the best results. I suggest using the high sensitivity image setting as a starting point for your first scan. It's honestly what I always use, but keep in mind, you may need to try different settings to get the best image for your samples. This tip applies only if you're doing a comparison between film and the C-digit. Since a scan on the C-digit only takes 12 minutes on high sensitivity, we recommend that you scan on the C-digit first, followed by film exposure, so that film development and optimization don't eat away at your signal production time. I know you're excited to try your C-digit, but please don't add substrate to an old blot and try to scan it. Insert any number of metaphors here about eating old food or wearing old crusty clothes. Just don't do it. You're going to make us both look bad. Prepare a new blot to scan, please. Once you have your C-digit image, use the Image Adjustment tool in Image Studio to refine the look of your image and find the best representation for your data. Now remember, this doesn't affect the underlying values of the raw data. The benefit, however, is that you're able to see both the high intensity and the low intensity bands in the same scan. Even though your bands might appear really similar upon visual inspection, make sure you analyze each band separately in Image Studio for an actual digital comparison. Following these tips will show you how the C-Digit maintains the simplicity of film without the mess of the darkroom. So here's a quick recap of useful tips. Install Image Studio on your computer before connecting the C-Digit. Incubate using room temperature substrate. Wrap your blot so that it stays wet during the scan. Remember, the blot goes protein side down on the scanner. If sensitivity is an issue, then we recommend these substrates. Try the high sensitivity setting for your first scan and work from there. And if you're doing a comparison, let's be fair. Image on the C-digit first and then expose your film.